It's been a few months. It's been a few months since I've talked to you guys, but I'm back. So, well, I'm, I want to be back. Like, it's, it's hard. Look, let me start again. Hello. I am four months in to my first seat as a training solicitor, which is real estate. Everything's going great, getting busy, fabulous. Learning a lot as well. So, happy about that. It's all going fine. Happy, like I said. Good, great, fantastic. I am working from home today, which means I get to vlog. I get to record because I can't exactly do this in the office. I can't just stand in the middle of the office and just be like, hi. I start work at nine, so I need to get ready. I've been to the gym, I dropped Mark off to the, what's it called, train station. He's going to London today until Wednesday. I've been to the gym, did a nice chest day. I'm trying to like really get back into my fit and to be fair, the past eight weeks, I've been like really consistent with the gym, so I'm happy about that. And I've got a holiday in five weeks. So five weeks yesterday, go to Lanzarote, which would be very nice. Of course, I can vlog that too, so I won't be in work. I can film, film as much as I want whilst I'm there. And I'm just happy for some winter sun, to be honest, because the weather, I mean, it's, dark, it's eight o'clock, like I said, and it's dark outside. I mean, you can see behind me, it's still really dark in the sitting room, but out there, very dark. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm going to film today. I'm going to show you what I get up to in my day. Obviously, keeping it confidential for the clients. And also, so I don't get struck off before I've even been put on the register. I turned 26. 26 years old. I'm on the wrong side of my 20s. I'm closer to 30 than I am 20. I'm, I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting to it, let's just say. I'm filming this. I'm filming a TikTok. And I'm also filming an Instagram reel about my day. So it's gonna be all over the place. It's gonna be very hectic. But for now, it's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. For now, I need to make a protein shake. Anyway, like I said, need to, I need to stop getting ready. I need to get ready for the day. I need to make a protein shake. I need to get ready, all that jazz, because I've got 50 minutes. Fun. Also, let's talk about resolutions. I, so for January, I couldn't quite do Veganuary. I know that. I, I wouldn't be able to do it just because, I mean, I probably could if I could really put my mind to it, but instead we're doing Veg January. So I'm a vegetarian for January, which is going fine. Like literally we're eight days in now and it's literally fine. It's no different pretty much just cutting out chicken and beef. So, I mean, obviously you gotta be a bit more mindful with what you're actually eating and stuff, but literally, no, this, we've got HelloFresh delivering today. We've got HelloFresh coming, so that's all vegetarian stuff. Last week, made a lot of found a lot of different recipes. Absolutely fine. Today, I've got for lunch. I've got uh, sarg paneer, which is like a cooking cheese, like spinach and stuff. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna have it on like a flatbread. Mark, like I said, he's in London, but prepped it for him, so he's got it as well. Obviously. Dry January, doing that. Do that every year anyway. And Mark's birthday is the 31st of January. So I guess we're kind of cheating because we will have a drink on the 31st, but it's it's fine. Like that to me, it's basically dry January. We went out for a meal on Saturday and we both had non-alcoholic beer, which I mean, it tastes the exact same as normal beer, to be honest, but there was no point. Really. What else is there? Oh, another thing that I really want to do this year is to not book social things unless it can't be, or not social things, but unless it can't be held, for example, birthdays and actual events and stuff like that. I don't want to book anything in more than two weeks in advance because last year, especially towards the end of last year, from October to December, we had something on every single week. We were booked up for the entire like two to three months. It was so stressful expensive as well so we're just being a bit more mindful in what we're planning so far in advance so i'm trying to do just anything longer than two weeks we'll sort it out close to the time i want to which i have, I have done last week spend no money at work as in like go out and buy stuff on my lunch i'm gonna just be more mindful and be more healthy, a healthier, happier 2024, and it's gone well so far. So I'm all set up, like I said, Mark, we usually have two desks, but because I'm predominantly in the office now, we basically put one desk down and just one desk here. So Mark usually works here, but like I said, he's away. So 
I get to work from the desk today. But I've got a nice little setup going on. I've got two screens here. I'll show you. It's probably easier to show you. So, obviously laptop. Two screens there. Wireless keyboard. Wireless mouse. Voila. I'm just checking. Oh, in fact, let me double check my emails. Because I've got a few, like, admin bits I need to do. I need to... I didn't get that many emails across the weekend, which is good. And I'm not putting the emails on my phone because... If I put emails on my personal phone, then I will end up just checking constantly all the time. I don't have a work phone because we don't get work phones until we qualify, which is good because, like I said, I would probably be obsessively checking it all the time. I'm going to make a coffee and then get stuck in because we've got, we actually do have a busy day now. I'm, I think I'm at a point now, like four months in where... I feel quite confident in what I'm doing. Not to the extent where I'm like, I am an expert, because <laughs> I'm definitely not, and there's a lot that I need to learn still. But I feel like I've kind of gained gained the trust of my colleagues to be able to, so then they know that at least I'm gonna be able to do something. It might not be right 100% of the time, but at least you know that I'll, I'll give it a good shot. Look at that for a camera angle. You are currently on my shelf. I've made my coffee. Need to start doing some work because Got more emails come through, just on things that I need to get on with. Gonna get, I need to figure out how to do the time lapse on this camera because I have no idea. It's really weird that looking up like this. But confidentiality, can't see my screens, so it is what it is. I'll move you around throughout the day so you can see whereabouts, whereabouts you're gonna be placed for the next nine hours. Nine hours. Less than that, I think. Been married six months now. Six months, that's how quick it's gone. I feel like it literally is just flown by. It's gone so quick. Technically, on top of that, I qualify as a solicitor. I mean, not technically, literally. I qualify as a solicitor next year, even though I'm still in my first seat. Don't worry. Next September, 2025. That's, that's key day. Keep it in your diaries. Anyway, I need to get on with some work. I'm trying to find the best place to place you. That was very quick, though. That was very, very quick. I mean, you're probably a little bit slanted, like... Anyway, I was literally in there less than seven minutes, I'd say. Literally did a checkup. Perfectly fine. All good. I have happy, healthy teeth, which is what we want. That's exactly what we're looking for. And just a normal checkup in six months. So now it's back home, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna have that sarg paneer. Gonna go back and have that, carry on with working. I know I've got a busy afternoon because there's something that I needed to do on Friday that I weren't able to do because I had other stuff that was priority. It's weird working with like, how do I say it? It's like weird working with companies that you know of outside of work like before working with them, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like what the quality of work is really good. I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to go back and carry on with all of that. This is lunch. Why is it not focused? There we go. Like I said, the sarg, the paneer, bit of mango chutney, bit of flatbread. I went to Starbucks as a treat for being a good boy at the dentist. Right, guess how much this was in great British pounds. I'm not even joking when I say I feel like I've taken out a second mortgage for this drink. It was near, it was basically seven pounds. It was six pound something, six pound, over six pound 50 basically. So we're running up to seven pound. I'm not even joking, right? When, when did Starbucks get that expensive? It never used to be that expensive. I got the, so it's a golden caramel white hot chocolate, but I got coffee in it. Seven pound though for a coffee, it's ridiculous. That genuinely, when she was like, oh, it's seven pounds, I was like, what? Excuse me? I am just currently doing a application. I'm doing an application to the land registry. I'm doing two applications. One's for a deed of variation of a lease, and one is for a reversionary lease. Reversionary? Reversionary? Reversionary lease. I've had a busy day, and if I look at my time, I mean, it's only quarter past four now, but... Oh, all my time should disappear like that. I've updated lease reports, updated summaries of leases, I've emailed clients, I've done land registry searches, and updated leases themselves. So, 
that's exciting and I'm just trying to get through this this is this is stressing me out this application because I don't it's not stressing me out that's a bit dramatic I think I know what what I'm doing do you know what right I'll just have to get the application finished I'll send it over to the solicitor that I'm helping the associate and then she can tell me if it's right or wrong and then I'll just do it whatever she says is right because I don't really know much if I'm honest so I'm just gonna check I've got everything in here so I've got the lease I've got consent from the bank consent a certificate from the conveyances a CLT return and a plan on there we're gonna go for it add it to the document management system which took me so long to actually get to like grips with I don't, if anyone that works in law is going to work in law every firm will have a, a document management system or a DMS it's called and it's um, it's definitely hard to get your head around it at first when you've never used one it's really quite tricky but once you've got it like you'll fly because this is the thing with like starting your first seat you've literally never used any of the systems you might have if you're paralegal before but you basically never I've never used any of these systems any anything to do with the land registry stamp duty anything like that I've never used so it was mind-boggling trying to get my head around stuff but I think once you've done it a few times you do actually get used to it you get used to like how to do it and it becomes like a second nature but I'm hoping that now I've kind of got all that out of the way in terms of like how to use that system, how to use all the other little systems. I know there's going to be other systems in other seats that I haven't yet touched, but I'm hoping that when I go to my next seat, I will find it a little bit easier to settle in because then I'll know how to use at least the internal systems to start, hopefully. I think we actually moved seats at the beginning of March, which is only eight weeks away, like it's less than two months. It's gonna, it's gonna fly, and I feel like the first six months has already. I mean, we're not six months in yet, we're four months in, but it's gone so fast already. The, God, the next, the next year and a half, year and eight months, however long, it, yeah, year and eight months is gonna fly by. I'll put some feelers out there. I'll tell you kind of what I'm thinking. I would really like to do a, a corporate seat, like a general corporate seat, um, because. I just, that was my favourite thing on the LPC, business law and practice, perfect. I just really enjoy company, law, and I think I'd really enjoy it. So I think just based on how my previous experience with company law and like business law and everything like that, I think that corporate would be a really good seat for me to do. And it's like the biggest, I think real estate and corporate are the two biggest teams in the firm. So hopefully there is space i mean I'm, I'm i'm hoping at least at some point across the next three seats there will be space for me to do corporate another thing i'd really really like to do is dispute um i just think that would be really interesting to to kind of see how that goes and just get involved in all that and then employment as well is also something that i would really like to do too because kind of similar I really enjoyed employment at undergrad and also on the LPC or although on the LPC the amount of reading for employment law was ridiculous. Either way I would really like to do an employment seat because it's a mixture of like contentious and non-contentious stuff. You're doing stuff that isn't dispute kind of vibes and then you've also got stuff that are more dispute kind of you know like your unfair dismissals and all stuff like that. So they're the three that, like, at the moment, I'm kind of considering, like, I really would like to do seats in. But mine's changed. Who knows? In a few months' time, I might be like, do you know what? I really want to do construction at the same time if there's not space for me in um, the business in those areas. That's absolutely fine, too. Like, I'll go wherever the business needs to, needs to put me. I would really like to maybe try those out. But I'm open-minded. I am staying open-minded because... This is my first experience working in a law firm at all, so I don't know how I might actually be put in banking and finance, for example, uh, banking and insolvency, and end up really loving it. So, like I said, I'm being open-minded. I'm not kind of 
putting myself in a box and saying like these are the only ones I want to do at all. I'm just kind of expressing what my interests are. I need to do something called the tracker, which is all the land registry applications. There's like 500 on this spreadsheet. All of these applications need to be checked to see whether some are completed, whether we've got requisitions. So requisitions are things that like the land registry come back and say, this is an issue, you need to rectify it and come back to us. So need to do that. Luckily we split that between four of us. So it's like 125 each. It's not too bad, it's like a couple of hours and it's quite therapeutic ticking it off. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm done for the day. Absolutely done for the day. I'm gonna be finished, I would say, before six o'clock. I'm distracted, I'm being distracted by you. Right, I've finished work now. This is our HelloFresh box. I'm gonna show you what we've got this week because I don't know what we've got this week. We've got, ah, oh, perfect. Indo Chinese style chili paneer. That sounds delightful. The camera's flashing at me, it's gonna die. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get it. Yellow Thai style veggie noodle soup, stunning. Veg and lentil shepherd's pie, very nice. Roasted sweet potato and kidney bean chili, standard. And then sweet potato, ginger and garlic tofu stew. Stunning, what a good choice. Well done, Mark. I need to unpack this, need to cook, I need to put this on charge because it's about to die. I chose to go for the sweet potato, garlic and tofu stew. Look at that, honestly. That looks very good. I mean, it's very beige, very orange, but we're gonna roll with it. There's my little puppy. Can't even see her. There's my little puppy. You can say hello to the camera. Say hello. Yeah? There you go, good girl. So what I've been doing recently, oh my god, my legs. I trained legs yesterday with Mark. And Mark is like Quadzilla. He tra he looks like he trains legs every day of his life. Oh, hello, Coco. Anyway, I trained legs yesterday and they are sore. So, what I was going to say is, I've been trying to make my mornings really easy for myself. So basically, the night before, like the night before the morning, obviously. Excuse you. Oh my god, Coco, I'm trying to record. I'm trying to record. Why is you so, you're so happy? You're so happy that I'm at your level. I keep getting distracted. What I was saying is, for the 45th time, in an e on an evening, I prep everything that I need for the morning, so like the night before, so then it's like really easy for me in the morning. And one of those things, choose a work outfit, choose a gym outfit, pack my work bag and stuff besides food obviously that needs to be refrigerated, sort Coco's food out, everything like that. So then in the morning it's a lot easier, it's like quite quick turnaround if that makes sense. So I'm gonna pick my gym outfit, finally got to the point. I already know what I wanna wear. So for Christmas, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the vlog, but basically Christmas and um, my birthday, I basically asked everyone for gym stuff. And people really came through. So we're gonna wear, it's very bright. Gymshark, like olive green, shorts, and then it's back there tomorrow. So we're gonna do a nice little Gymshark. I suppose it's like oversized, but it's not really that oversized, it's just, it's loose fit basically, it's not like your normal gym top, like the one this morning I wore, that was very, that was quite a tight fitting one, and it just depends on what day, like I was working chest today, I feel like a tight fitting top, when, when I do chest, just makes me feel good afterwards, it, I don't know why, I don't know why, anyway, so that's the gym stuff sorted, I know I want to wear that, don't know what I'm gonna wear for work though. I even literally, I put out everything. So I'm talking like all like underwear, socks, everything like that. And honestly, 
it makes my morning so much easier. I feel like it's less of a stress. Everything's basically done by the things that I actually can't just do the night before. I need to go and find a work outfit now. I think I know what I'm going to wear for that anyway. I don't know why I'm like thinking about it. Ugh. She's going to lie on me. Yeah. See? Knew it. I knew you were going to do that. You just want cuddles, don't you? Come here. Oh, there we go. Nice cuddles. Oh, and a big yawn too. You're such a gorgeous girl. I'm going to sign off now. Because I think that's it for the day. Really. I just need to get showered and get into bed and watch a Netflix series. But I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, me and Coco. Mark's obviously not here, like I said, but I'm sure he'll be in the next vlog. And hopefully I won't leave it this long to see you again. But until next time, I'll see you later.